We have a brand new trailer for the Dumping Ground Series 11. It is an extended trailer as a follow on from the teaser we got on TikTok and I made a video on the last trailer discussing this new set of characters and what the implications of that might be. So if you want to check out that video, there'll be a link down below in the description or you can go and click the card somewhere up there. Today, we're not going to be diving into all of these new characters because we did that in the last video, but more this little snippet of the trailer. Won't know what's hit them ones we show up. Because what happened to everyone else? So we now do have confirmed that the new characters who were introduced in series 10 are staying, which makes me question why they weren't in that original teaser trailer, because surely you would want characters who people recognize to be promoting in new series. And so it makes me think that in the first half of series 11, we will be losing a lot of these characters who we've just got to know so that there can be a whole new cast and basically a new show. But then, where is everyone else who was there by the fire when Ashton Bridge burnt up? Where is Taz, Sid, Clem, Kyle, just to name a few? The Dumping Ground and Tracy Beaker has this really annoying habit of just making characters disappear between series and sometimes it is with no explanation, or we only get an explanation if the character returns in a later episode. Ones that come to mind is a lot of the characters in the original story of Tracy Beaker, including Duke, Toby in Tracy Beaker Returns, Electra, Faith, and lots more. I think the worst case of this was the most recent example with Jodie, where Jodie's leaving episode was technically her returning to the dumping ground because we didn't get to see her true leaving episode. And so what this clip shows where they are heading off to the new care home and none of the characters from before series 10 are there makes me very worried that the same thing has happened again, but this time with loads of characters all at the same time just completely disappearing. I mean, Kaz and Sid have been there for ages, they deserve a proper leaving episode. I reckon that after the Ashton Ridge fire, the kids were split up and put into emergency care homes or foster houses, and therefore the kids who Diane and Ben end up actually taking to a new care home are the kids who we only saw got introduced in series 10, which I think is a real shame. At the end of the trailer, we do get the return of Finn again, which I love, and he seems to be the now long-standing character of the dumping ground. Maybe he could become a carer or something similar. But apart from maybe just a cameo appearance of Finn, I think this trailer definitely shows that the dumping ground is a brand new kind of show. The fact that all of these characters who are appearing have only been known to us within the last year, the fact that the characters who we've known for ages and could tie us back to Tracy Beaker have just disappeared, and the fact that there is a brand new logo without the iconic yellow bubble writing that we've had ever since Tracy Beaker Returns and variations of it in the original story of Tracy Beaker and might even suggest a new title sequence and the simple fact of this. What's the new dumping ground called? Please stop calling it that. Dumping ground for life! It's the fact that these kids don't even really know why they're calling it the dumping ground. They just know it's a legacy name that has been passed down, but they've never even heard of Tracy Beaker, who came up with the original concept. What I loved about the latest series of the dumping ground was that it never forgot its past. Even when Mike had left, there were still remnants that could lead back to the first ever episode of the story of Tracy Beaker. The biggest being the Peter Pan book that was passed down from a very important character to to another long-standing character that stated who Tracy Beaker was and why the care home was called the dumping ground. None of these new characters know this, none know anything about Tracy Beaker and therefore, to me at least, it is a new show and isn't really part of the Tracy Beaker franchise anymore. And I've been trying to wonder why they did that, because we had the Beaker Girls airing at the same time as series 10, and so I'd have thought it would have been so easy to just have some cool crossovers between the two shows, but then we had the final episode of the Beaker Girls air last year, The Trial of Tracy Beaker, which I do think is a brilliant episode, and we see the return of Mike, and we run through Tracy's life and kind of the franchise's life. From the story of Tracy Beaker, to Tracy Beaker Returns, to The Dumping Ground, to My Mum Tracy Beaker, to The Beaker Girls, and it ends with Tracy finally saying goodbye to her life in care, her life in the dumping ground, by burning her files. And I do think in this moment could be seen as a symbol for the end of the Tracy Beaker franchise, for all of these shows and characters to finally come to their end. And the fact that it aired while series 10 aired that also got rid of the final character who had any sort of connection to Tracy Beaker being Jodie, to me says it was also ending the dumping ground 
as part of this franchise. And so I do think now that we have Series 11 with no connection whatsoever, I do think it is a brand new show and a new franchise. And that if there was any spin-off shows in the future, they would be classed as the Dumping Ground spin-offs and it would be called the Dumping Ground franchise rather than the Tracy Beaker franchise. And for me, I think this is really sad. Why didn't they just end the Dumping Ground, have a big reunion episode at the end of Series 10? It would have just been perfect. And then create a brand new show that is completely different, but just has the same premise of being set in a care home. And I think this also means for any fans who are still watching the Dumping Ground because of its history, because of how it connects across a 20 year franchise, Unfortunately, I say it has come to its end and that I wouldn't watch it if you are into that sort of stuff because I think you'll just be disappointed. But if you want to watch a brand new show, a different show about kids in care, then this new series is for you. So the new series comes out on the 26th of January. Will you be watching it? But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Guys, let me know down below in the comments, what do you think about this? Are you upset that The Dumping Ground is basically ended? And are you excited for this new series and this basically new show? Let me know all your thoughts down there. And as always, we've been here on Gated Theories. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.